Pierce football is 9-1 on the season, but they are also the defending Class 3A state champs, a title they hope to keep this season. Our Taylor Archer caught up with the team ahead of their state quarterfinal matchup. The state championship is almost here again, but this team knows that they have to take the tournament one game at a time. First, we got to win the first game, the quarterfinals, and that's all we really have on mind now. Our coaches preach not to look ahead to the next game. The Pioneers will face the 7-2 Greenway Nashwalk Kiwa and Titans this weekend. Greenway actually was the number two seed in their section, and they uh, defeated the number one seed Proctor. A really good running back who's rushed for over 1,000 yards, and we have to be really concerned with him. Um, we also have know that they're very good def defense. They blitz a lot of their linebackers and try and put pressure on, on, on us, so we have to work on that. The Pioneers have faced injury after injury this season, but Coach Polkamp believes that even his youngest players have gained the experience necessary to play in the state tournament. We have four broken legs, a separated shoulder, a torn shoulder, broken arm. It's kind of been the story of our year, injuries, but that's been a big part too, overcoming the injuries. When we started out at the beginning of the year, we were a very young team, but I think right now we can't say we're a young team because we had a whole year of experience. And with that experience, the pioneers know what they need to do in order to keep their title. We have to establish the running game. Uh, that's the strength of our team. We like to you know, run off tackle with a bone. We like to get outside if we can and mix in the pass as well. And then we always say if you're going to keep winning, you've got to play great defense and hopefully we'll be prepared for them. Talent and experience might help this team get to that final game once again. In Piers, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.